What's up everybody? Welcome to a brand new series on the channel guys. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Today we're going to be playing a brand new game that I have never seen before until I saw somebody else play it. And I was like, that looks cool as shit. I need to play it myself. So today we're going to be playing a game called Kingdoms and Castles. Uh, I was able to play a little bit of it just to kind of get a feel for it. Just, just, just to see if, if I would even like it. To see if you guys would even like it because you don't even want to watch me play it if I don't like it. And I actually liked it quite a bit. So, here we are. Uh, today I'm going to be playing on the easier mode on this uh, Paxlon... No. Oh, that's the region, so I guess that's the easy mode. Whatever, right? So we're going to have a peaceful land with no enemy invaders, a long, lovely summer, and a short and mild winter. So, um, basically what I have decided to do with this is that we are first going to do this map on the easy mode, right? But we're going to create our own goals for an end game because it doesn't really have an end game at all. Um, I decided that what we're going to do is we're going to try and fill out the entire map. Actually, you know what? That seed actually looked pretty good. We're going to try and fill out the entire map with our city. And then we're going to also make a goal that, uh, I don't know, uh, our food production is in a positive curve, right? We don't lose food. We're gaining food. And... Um, for the last goal, we're going to make it to where our city has to have at least, uh, let's go 75 happiness. 75 happiness at the end when the map is full, uh, positive food production, and the map is full. All right, so now we got to choose a banner. Okay, so we can either be the blue lion, the yellow sword, the orange angel, or hawk. I don't know what that is. Or a die. Let's go with the sword. All right, so... Now we need to decide what we need to call our kingdom. Uh, let's go with uh, Legion. Let's go with Legion because we are the Legion of Lords, guys. We're gonna make this this uh, land called Legion. All right. So now we're on the map. So we have all this space to work with, and I need to decide where I want to start. Okay. So now here's the tough part. Okay. So we want to be somewhere where there's going to be some wood, there's going to be some iron, there's going to be some stone, right? And we need a place to build houses. So I'm thinking uh, this little center right here is actually pretty good. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to move it over here. We're going to go right up here. This is where we're going to start, guys. So like I said, I did play a little bit of this, so I know a little bit of what to do. You need to start with a keep. You need to start with your, your main castle, right? And it does grow as you get bigger, so I'm going to put that right there. All right, and then we should have little people, little tiny people walk, walking around. And the best part about this game, guys, when you click on them, he's 16 years old and he would like a place to live, wouldn't we all? And 28 years old would like a place to live. Okay, so apparently they want me to make them houses. There we go. So, now we have our keep. And we have our advisors. There's three different advisors. Agriculture, city, and military. I never really listen to these guys. They kind of tell me from the basics of what I'm going to need. But let's just roll with it. Let's never ask them for anything. Let's make it interesting. Alright, so now within uh, this game, there's only four different tabs. I'm sure they're going to expand it eventually. But so far, there's only the four. There's the castle tab, town, food, and industry. Okay? Um, castle tab we don't need to really worry about too much right now the main one we're going to be using is town food and industry so first things first we need to build roads in our kingdom best thing to do is to put roads around the keep so then our little people will build the road and you have to build near the road you cannot just build anywhere on the map you have to build near a road so then, just like they said, they want a place to live, right? Uh, first thing we can make is a little hovel, a little, a little house, okay? We need five wood for that. Uh, let's go ahead and chop down these trees because we're going to need some room. We're going to need to get to that iron eventually. And I think I saw, yeah, there's an open stone over here as well. All right. And these little black stones, they're unusable. Unusable stone meaning we can't use it in case you didn't get that okay um, the iron we can use and the stone we can use the white and the brown whatever it is uh, we can use that so first things first let's get a little hovel going eventually we're gonna re uh, structure the entire layout 
hopefully, uh, just from the little bit that I did play, I can get that making it a little bit more efficient from what I had it in my other world, my other uh, area. We're going to build a few houses just to get things going, get our population up. More population means more workers, more workers means more resource, and more resource means we get to build more shit. Perfect. All right, so then we're also going to be needing food eventually. Uh, the only thing is, within the map, there's different color of the tiles, right? And right now it's winter, so we can't see it. But, um, I guess it kind of goes away here. You have to be on a deep green in order to plant a farm. It has to be, like, saturated or whatever, right? Uh, fertile, okay. So, I'm actually just going to pop one there and one there. Okay. They can start working on that. Eventually, like I said, we're going to redo everything. We can demolish, we can move, we can, you know, restructure whatever we want. And yeah, so we'll do that. So now we have five people, we have five beds, and nobody is idle. That means everybody is working. And then our happiness is down here, trending towards 80. 80 average home happiness. That's awesome. Okay. We want, uh, like I said, our goal is to get 75 by the time we're done. Uh, so hopefully we can do that. Then if we go over here to the industry tab, uh, this is basically where we can do everything from mining stone, cutting trees, uh, having a resource uh, base, I guess, uh, make charcoal, make, uh, what is it, tools or armaments, okay? You can use the tools to remove these black stones, stones you can't use. You can use armaments for your soldiers, I think. Um, again, in this mode, we're kind of like in a peaceful world. We don't need anybody. We don't need any soldiers. We don't need any generals. We're good. We're good. So, the blacksmith and the armaments don't really need it that much. But, uh, good to know. Because when we do get to that point, I will need that stuff. Uh, okay, so, where are we at? And I lied. Let's look at what the advisors have to say. All right, agriculture. Good day, sire. We'll need farms first to feed our workers. Already got it. Uh, sire, we have new construction, but no one available to build it. Perhaps we should temporarily close other buildings and build new homes. Let's build some new homes then. Hmm. Military. Good day. Yeah, everything is good in the land of Legion. All right, so we got 16 wood. Um, let's put some more housing over here to get some more people in. Like I said, more people is good. Okay, so we got two farms. We can put some more farms over here, actually, too. But everybody is good to go. Everybody's working. All five of our people, guys. All five of our people. So, eventually we'll get visitors, and those visitors will stay. Our kingdom has attracted three new residents. So now we're up to eight. Sweet. All right, so now we got some more workers. They're going to be doing their thing. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit just so they can build the houses and hopefully we can get some more people. Uh, what else can we use here in the town? Alright, so we're going to need some stone production pretty soon. Uh, industry. Okay, so for the quarry we need 15 wood. Alright, so we're just going to keep chopping wood. All these new people can help us chop wood. Eventually we'll be able to put down a forester which will chop and replant wood automatically. Which will be nice. But until then we gotta do it manually and have our little people run around and do it for us. Alright, so pretty good start so far. Happiness is at a 79. We have 30 beds and we have 12 people. Hey, we got 4 new residents. Sweet. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna put it back on regular time. We can actually come over here hopefully and that's the only thing that sucks is that we have to build roads everywhere that we go um, how do I want to do this okay so we're gonna build a road this way and then bring it over this way and we're gonna use quite a bit of wood for this but that's alright alright so we're gonna do like that and then we're gonna go over here to industry and we're gonna put the quarry right next to that and eventually we'll put another quarry over or we might as well go ahead and put the other one over here as well all right so we got the roads all right so we need a little bit more wood and they should be doing that so we're gonna speed it up again get the roads going uh, we're probably gonna need to put some more farms down or some orchards whichever because our food uh, Eight food from farms, seven eaten by home, so we're only at a plus one, so we're going to need more farms soon. But I do want to get stone production going early. 
iron, not so much worried about. Alright, so, so we'll keep getting wood. And we'll build a forester as well. We'll probably end up clearing all of these trees out and put our farm area maybe over there. Although this seems like a really good area for a farm. Yeah, because the land seems a little bit more fertile over there. Well, maybe we'll move the farms over that way. And our put our homes maybe over here. Homes and forestry. That seems like a pretty good plan. And like I said, we can always restructure it if we want later on. Fit our needs as we need it. But for now, we're good. So in the meantime, I am going to chop all these trees. Because we don't need these in our way. And I really enjoy the art style of this game. It's so peaceful. It's so calming. It's just nice. It's nice to look at. It's not It's not stressful. It's de-stressing. I've been looking for a new city, uh, city simulator to play. And this seemed like a great one. Very simplistic. That, that's okay. I like that. I don't mind that at all. Okay. So. Now that we have that. Uh, what else do we need? Okay, I'm going to put what's called a stockpile. I'm going to put that right there. So we can store all our stone right there. And then... What else? What are we get? We need food. Okay, we need food. We need food bad. Alright, so now let's start working on our farms. Okay, I don't want to get rid of that area. Really? You had to make it the freaking winter right now? A fire has started. Oh, shoot. Congratulations, Legion is now a small village. Starting to get the hang of this governing thing. So now we are a small village. Okay. And crap. We lost our... Forgot about the fires. Forgot to mention about the fires, too. Fires do happen here. So we're going to demolish that. No biggie. We'll just build a new one. Boom. Alright. So, to prevent that from happening next time, we're going to put a well. And we're going to put it right there. And, um, okay. So now that's taken care of. So we're going to keep building the road this way, I think. And we're going to put some farms and orchards over here, I think. So I'm just going to make a straight road, just so we can build in this general area. Uh, okay, so for food, we're going to... Let's 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 uh, put some orchards up. I honestly didn't experiment too much with the orchards, so we'll try these out. I don't know how good they are compared. Uh, produces food depending on soil fertility. Food not stored by winter's end is lost and vulnerable to flooding. Produces food based on soil fertility. Can't be flooded by heavy rain. So, can't be flooded. Apparently that's a thing too. I never got that experience in the last playthrough. But, alright. So... We have 30 people, we have nobody idle, and we have 30 beds, but happiness is down. Alright, so... What do the advisors have to say? Mm. The peasants are starving. Yes, I know. Mm. Make life better. Building nice large houses or other things the peasants might enjoy. Okay. So that's another thing. We have to worry about happiness. We have to worry about hunger. We have to worry about the plague. We have to worry about fire. Um things of that nature so we have everybody doing something now um, but you know what I'm gonna demolish you and I'm gonna demolish you just cuz I don't want you in the way and okay so I'm actually gonna do this as well alright so we have two quarries going is anybody working on this? Yes, they are. Okay, they're just taking a while. So we're going to speed this up. We're going to get another orchard going. Or get our first orchard going. Maybe put some regular farms over here. Alright. So we are good. We are going. Hmm. I know. I know we're starving. I'm doing what I can, okay? I'm doing what I can. Alright. And people can die in the game. I have seen that. People die of old age. People die of accidents. People die of the plague. 
My lord, five people visited, but none could find a home. Our city is full. We need more homes. That's another thing as well. So eventually we're going to need to expand our homes. Uh, I guess I might as well do that now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put one on the back there. Because I'm going to expand the road this way. I'm going to expand the road this way, and then up, and then around. Alright, so we got another home. There we go. Alright, orchard almost done. It is almost done. And... boop. Okay, sweet. Now we got some food. We got some food coming in. Now we need to wait for 15 more. Uh, but that is the trouble, isn't it? Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to build a forester. The forester will help us with wood production. The only trouble, we need to build a road over here. Alright, so a forester needs 15 lumber. Alright, so we need to chop some more wood again. And like I said, the forester will replant automatically, which is good. So that'll be there. What are you mad about? What the? What? What? What, what is? What is this guy's problem? Whoa! Camera. What's your problem? Starving. My house has no food. Yeah. I know. All right. All right. So now we can build a forester. Perfect. There's the forester. We should be good after that. Now we have a stockpile. And okay, so I'm trying to think what would be the next best thing. We probably need more food. Boom. And I can't build it there because one place is not fertile enough. All right, so that's okay. I have an idea then. So we'll build one here, one across the way. We'll build a storehouse there, okay? We will build a granary. That stores the food. So I need 50. 50 wood for that. Okay. So we may need to build multiple foresters in this area. Which is fine. The more the better. The only issue is, again, we gotta get some food going. One peasant died of starvation! Damn it. Ugh, okay. So we're not off to the best start. Here I was thinking I was going to do much better this time around, but guess not. Okay. So, how many workers do you have? Two out of three. Okay, we're good. They are getting wood for us now. And we got more farms going, so we should not starve anymore. Hopefully. Alright. So that is how we're going to start things off guys. I think I will do my best to... Uh, let's see, how much did a forester cost again? 15. Okay. So we're going to build another forester just so we can get even more wood. Okay. So I think what I want to do is I want to build out this way. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to build out to right there. And then we're going to build one there. Industry Forester. Build a Forester there. Alright. So, now we got two Foresters. We got two quarries going. We got some homes up. We got our food basic production going. Eventually we'll get into iron. Eventually we'll get into some more uh, complicated food production. But for now it's going pretty good. It's going a lot better than it was. We definitely need the food to come in. Okay. Our city is full again. So we need more homes. Alright, so we're going to build a couple more hovels. I'm also going to build a well because they are very important. Um, let's put that one there. Put it near the homes, just in case some shit goes down. One peasant died of starvation again! Why, 
want you to grow. Hey, there we go. Now we got some little fruits on the trees. Little fruits on the trees, we're good. In the orchard. I'm assuming those are apples if they're red. Alright. So. There we go, guys. We are on the way. Legion is booming. We're up to 35 people. But people are not that happy. They're at 57 happiness. So we gotta improve that. How do we do that? By the what with the one thing that people always want. A tavern. So hopefully after this one is built and we're able to get more wood much faster, then we will be able to build them a tavern and they'll be happy because they're drunk and they don't care. All the happy little people wandering around. So guys, I think I'm going to leave this first episode off here. It's a pretty good start. I really enjoy uh, this game quite a bit so far. It's a very pretty game. It's very relaxing. It's very um, mind-numbingly enjoyable, I find. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much, much appreciated. And next time we'll be getting into a little bit more expansion, a little bit of upgrades, a little bit of more. So thank you guys so much. Much appreciated. See you in the next episode. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.